Hi guys, welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're doing wonderful. So we're going to be talking about what is taking place across the Atlantic Basin. There is a new area that we'll have to watch for some possible development as we're going to be heading into the next several days. And there is a substantial tropical wave. It's producing quite a bit of activity right now just offshore northern South America. Uh, if all that dry air doesn't impact the system too much, it could bring some additional periods of heavy rain to sections of the Caribbean. And there's another in the Eastern Caribbean now starting to produce some thunderstorms which have been affecting sections of the Lesser Antilles and that other which is producing quite a bit of action in the Western Caribbean. So let's go into the details. Okay, here we go. So as we look at this area here, we can see a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity offshore the Guyanas. So this is associated with a tropical wave. But one of the important things is that a lot of dry air is around it. So once that gets in, it could certainly help to reduce all of this convection and all the shower and thunderstorm activity that is associated with the system. So I'll definitely be watching for that. But if it holds up enough, it could definitely result in a rain increase for sections of the Guyanas and possibly the Lesser Antilles as well, especially with the Windward Islands. Looking at the Caribbean here at a much closer view, we can see all of these showers and thunderstorms within the vicinity of the Leeward Islands. So Barbuda, offshore uh, Guadeloupe earlier near St. Kitts and Nevis. So there is some moisture there and that's being induced by another tropical wave that has recently entered the region. It wasn't really producing much at all yesterday. However, now it is starting to produce more showers and thunderstorms. And then in the West Caribbean, it's looking quite messy due to the tropical wave that is uh, in the area passed through and increased a lot of moisture. So still seeing some instances of heavy rain for sections of Central America. And this is a look at the uh, rainfall forecast throughout today. And it's a very, very early tomorrow. So we're definitely seeing those colorful shadings for parts of Mexico, Belize, the Keys, the Bay Islands, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and even for San Andres and Providencia. So that area is going to remain quite moist throughout today. And there will be that potential for additional periods of heavy rain and thunderstorms. And a lot of heavy rain can definitely trigger more of those instances of flooding as well. And we can see those very colorful shadings offshore of the Guyana is likely associated with the uh, tropical waves so it is certainly producing a lot of rainfall right now hence the reason we're seeing that and as it heads uh generally to the west it may help to enhance that rain even more and across parts of the lesser antilles well much of the lesser antilles there could be some additional periods of showers and thunderstorms today not much expected for the virgin islands and puerto rico and definitely not for the abc islands there's a little dry pocket down there for Hispaniola, parts of Jamaica, there could be some additional rainfall activity, likewise for the Cayman Islands. And for sections of Cuba, especially as we head into the afternoon, we could see some showers and thunderstorms popping up. A few scattered showers across parts of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. Now here we are looking at the dry air map. We can see that uh, activity associated with the tropical wave and a lot of dry air to the north of it and also to the west of the system. So... As I mentioned, that dry air infiltrating will help to dissipate a lot of the activity that we're currently seeing. So we're going to see if it holds up. But things should clear up enough in terms of the dry air to allow the development of a tropical wave to emerge off of Africa. And as I speak, here's a look at the National Hurricane Center's outlook. And we can see that new area highlighted. So a tropical wave is going to be coming off around the weekend. And it will be moving generally to the west or to the west-northwest. And we can see low 20% chance of some development. Uh, as the future updates come in and uh, as the environment looks to definitely be conducive for development, we'll see this chance increasing. If the system moves on a west-northwestward track, then there is a chance that it may not be a bother for anyone if something does form. And uh, looking at the ensemble members here for Euro, we can see that quite a few of them are definitely picking up on that area of low pressure. And this, by the way, goes out to Sunday the 7th, or uh, rather Saturday night, the 6th of September. 
So next week, and, and we can see these members definitely hinting at something. And then for GFS, not as many members available, but the ones that are show a primary west-northwest to northwestward track of that tropical wave to emerge. So that suggests that our area of high pressure or subtropical high may not be very dominant because that is one of the main steering mechanisms of these systems. So a stronger area of high pressure results in these systems moving more to the west. A weaker area of high pressure results in a west-northwest to northwestward track. So I'll definitely be keeping watch for that system, guys. But that is pretty much what I wanted to bring to your attention in today's video. So I do hope you found it to be informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll get to you when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.